환영합니다, 손님. How's it going, everyone? And welcome back to another video of Library of Ruina, the modded series. I'm Dumb Monic Wolf, and today we're going to be taking on Faust from the Limbus Company. Now, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, guys, here we go. So we will be using Roland versus Faust. So we're going to go ahead and start jumping into the statistics of Faust. Faust's page, 108 HP, 53 stagger resist, 3 to 7 on the dice rolls. HP resistances are endured for slash, normal for stab and crush. Stagger resistances are normal for slash and stab, endured for crush. Now, moving over to the passive abilities, we have Faust. If HP is 50% or lower, cannot be staggered. Mephistopheles. If HP is at 15% or lower, gain homunculus. Solitude. Deal 10% more damage per 12 HP lost, up to 100%. Damn. That is a crazy amount. So let's move over to her unique pages in her shelf, starting off with Gretchen. Combat start. If HP is at 15% or lower, gain homunculus. If user already has homunculus, reduce incoming damage to zero this scene. What? Requiem. Single use. On use. Double the user's max HP. Does not affect current HP. Helen. This page receives double effect from Solitude. Gain plus one power per 10 HP. Lost max eight. Wagner. On use. Lose half of current HP. All dice on every page gains one power per every 10 HP. Lost max four. If user's HP is at 15% or lower, all dice gain two additional power. While Purgish not, on use, lose half of current HP, draw three pages, on clash win, recover five HP, on hit, recover five HP. Mephistopheles, on use, lose half of current HP. And with that guys, that seems like all the pages in her shelf, so let's go ahead and get this fight started. This should be interesting. A character that gains power every time they get hurt. Whoa. We didn't see this with the other ones. All right, let's do this. Holy shit. What? Um... Okay. Well, I guess this is... I don't know. Oh, that hurts. Holy shit. This is, uh, weird. god what the fuck like it decided it right away it was like yeah no you're dead <laughs> okay so i thought that was gonna be quick and easy but no she gets really strong when she gets low that is some insane shit um and we can only do one damage every single time interesting this is gonna be an interesting fight Okay. <laughs> Never mind, she just got smashed right there. <laughs> I did not expect her just to fucking splat on the second scene. <laughs> what the fuck? She just 
just exploded. My expectations were short-lived of her for a moment. I thought she was gonna whoop my ass, like, continuously. Homunculus. Damage received is fixed to one, including damage taken from combat pages, and takes no damage from status ailments, cannot gain protection. Here we go. <laughs> Do we get the page? I'm saying no. Oh, we did get it. We just need to get all the other pages now. Well, I'll be back once I have all the exclusive pages for this character. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So here we are with boss page. So we're going to go over the passive abilities once again, and then that should be it. So let's go ahead and start off with Faust. If HP is 50% or lower, cannot be staggered. Mephistopheles. If HP is at 15% or lower, gain homunculus. Solitude. Deal 10% more damage per 12 HP lost, up to 100%. So that right there is insane. Like, this shit can actually be put into a good build. It's just... God, this character damages themselves so much. Like, if they get hit one time, they are dead. All right, guys, so this is usually where I end the video, but after editing the video, I found out that it's about seven minutes long or shorter. So we're going to be jumping into another Limbus Company mod, and that is the Virgilis mod. So let's go ahead and jump right into that so you guys have more to watch. All right, guys, let's not waste any more time and go ahead and jump into the statistics of Virgilis. Virgilis's page, 1400 HP, 350 stagger resist, 2 to 6 on the dice rolls, all resistances are endured. Now moving over to the passive abilities, we have lead, can attack allies, wield psychiatric ward. At the start of the act, if there are more than three allies in the Limbus Company chapter, the allies target random characters, including their own allies. When this passive is activated at the start of the scene, gain eight strength. Manager of the Psychiatric Ward. When this character hits allies, do not deal damage. Recover the target's HP as much as the natural die roll. Sinner's Manual. Does not take any damage by allies' attacks. Chronic Fatigue. Starts the battle with 95% less HP. Alright, and now that his passive abilities are out of the way, let's go ahead and look at his unique pages in his shelf. So starting off with File Vertical. On use, add one to your hand at random, file horizontal or file corner. On hit, draw one page. Make rest area to hell. On use, restore to light, add a random single use file to hand. On clash win, recover HP as much as the natural die roll. Attack command, single use. This page is used against one enemy. Dice effect does not apply. On hit, give two strength this scene. On hit, give one strength this scene. On hit, give one strength this scene. All right, so that seems to be all the pages, and there's some interesting ones here. Now, I can't wait to get started, so let's go ahead and jump in. Oh, nice animations. Don't, don't tell me this is going to be a short fight as well. Wait, what? When the fuck did we get one of his attacks? What? That hurts. Kinda sucks that he is, uh, ranged because, like... We are literally just fucking him up. Nice, nice. Hit it. Nice. Jesus. Um, let's see. I think that'll be a good one. Ah, oh, shit, he's staggered. That's not good. He might die. Oh, fuck. Yeah, oh, yeah, we're dead. God damn it. We didn't have anything to stop him from using that. Bye. Damn it. How I win this? <laughs> how can lose this? <laughs> exactly. How did I win or how did I lose that? 
I just I didn't have a card to actually prevent his like Omega dice. So let's jump back in there. All right, here we are again. Um, dodging again, getting in those hits. Okay. Nice. He actually blocked it. <laughs> Good. That's gonna hurt. Nice. that strength nice what the fuck I don't even know where those pages are coming from like what is he just giving them to me a little odd yep there we go that's sad. <laughs> Dude, that's like an online interaction right there when you beat someone. Sad. So sad. You're such a sad player. I can't believe you would do that. God. <laughs> Holy shit, what is with all the books? Like, I should only get like three. Why am I getting a fucking army? I just had a fucking whole bookshelf fall on me. God damn. All right, well, let's go open it and read the statistics of this character. All right, we are burning 10 of them because we have the ability to. So I should be able to get it no matter what. There it is. We got the page. Yes. Please get along well. That was not in his thing. Okay. All right, guys, here we are with Virgilus's page. So let's go ahead and read the passive abilities, even though they're probably just the same, but you never know because he did have a new page in his shelf and we'll go over that in just a second. So starting off with lead can attack allies, wield psychiatric ward. At the start of the act, if there are more than three allies in the Olympus Company chapter, the allies target random characters, including their own allies. When this passive is activated at the start of the scene, gain eight strength. Manager of the Psychiatric Ward. When this character hits allies, does not deal damage, recover the target's HP as much as the natural die roll. Sinner's Manual. Does not take any damage by allies' attacks. Okay, so that's actually really good. Now let's move over to the page. Please get along well. Single use. The target of this page is not affected by the wield Psychiatric Ward during the next scene. If on hit this page to target, add one additional counter dice, block three to six to target. On hit, give one protection this scene. On hit, give two protection this scene. All right, so that seems like a really good card because the Psychiatric Ward will actually prevent them from attacking each other and you will be able to control them. I think that's actually really good. We might have to test a build with this. It seems like we already have Neptunia with one of the Limbus Company uh, pages. So we might have to get the whole team dressed up for that. But I might switch that over to Netzatch's team because we do have a whole bunch of other shit in there that I think might be good for this. I don't know. You guys let me know. And with that, guys, that is going to conclude this video. Now, before this video ends, I just want to apologize for the lack of uploads. Uh, I pretty much am doing a batch thing now, trying to get videos out um, as much as possible. This whole week should be filled with videos because I am doing three recordings at a time and not to mention I am editing those videos right after each other. So hopefully I can keep up with it. We'll see. But with that, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and let me know by hitting that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you want to become part of the pack, go ahead and hit that sub button and notification bell to know when a new video goes up. Also, don't forget to leave me a comment down below because all comments are well appreciated. And with that, everyone, I'm Dumb Monic Wolf, and I'll see you all in the next video that I make because I am... <laughs>